You're watching the Northeastern News Program that keeps you up to date, aware, and informed on all things related to Northeastern High School. This is High Street Morning News. Um, hi, Paul Mart, located in room 103, now has official daily hours. They are open every day during all lunch waves in the morning, Tuesday and Thursday until 7.30 and Wednesday after school from 2.45 to 3.30. Stop by and grab some school supplies, breath mints, or new Bobcat gear. September is all about being an ally. What does it mean to support your peers who identify <laughs> as LGBT? GSA will explore this question today, day two, in room 803. There will be snacks and games, so come check it out. Do you like comics, superheroes, graphic novels, the Marvel or DC Cinematic Universe? Do you want to share what you've read, pick up a good read, have amazingly geeky debates about which superhero is best? Then you should join Comic Book Club. Comic Book Club meetings will be on either Cycle Day 2 or 6, depending on roster size, with an occasional after-school awesomeness. Meetings will be held in Mr. D's room, room 810. To join, send Mr. D a message on Schoology or look for the announcement and group code on Schoology. Seniors, if you want items from Jostens and did not get to give it to the Jostens rep, Miss Newcomb will collect orders until the end of the day, Friday, September 21st. See you at the poll is happening Wednesday, September 26th outside of the main office at the flagpole. Join us in praying for our schools with our Northeastern community. If you are interested in having your parking space painted with a specialized design, please see the National Art Honor Society for more information. The Friends of Rachel Club is starting the Halloween Kindness Boo again this year for the month of October. We will start the booing at the beginning of October by picking a number of homerooms that will receive a bag filled with kindness messages and a treat for an entire homeroom including the teacher. The booing will continue as other homerooms collect their own treats and kindness messages to give to other homerooms the, of their choices that have not yet been booed. The Four Club hopes that this kindness will spread to every homeroom and everyone will get booed by the end of the month. So start thinking of what treat your homeroom wants to collect and start writing those kindness messages. Your homeroom teachers will have a list of all the homerooms and student totals. They will also have access to the spreadsheet that will be updated as to which homerooms are available to boo. Thank you for spreading kindness and happy booing. The Northeastern football team is selling $5 raffle tickets for your chance to win a Samsung 65-inch smart TV. Tickets will be sold until Monday, October 8th. The drawing will be held at the homecoming game on October 12, 2018. Please contact head football coach John Schapansky or a high school football player for a ticket. Thank you to everyone for supporting our football program. If you are in need of a homecoming dress, the Friends of Rachel Club has some dresses, some shoes, and some men's shoes available in room 708. They are free. If you would like to come check out what we have, you can stop by room 708 after school until 3 o'clock. If that time does not work for you, email Miss Fitzsimmons for other arrangements that they can possibly be made. Now we're going to send it down to Isha to tell us more about what's going on with Seth Early. Okay, we're starting. What's up, Isha? Hey guys, I'm down here with Hey guys, I'm down here with Mr. Mars to talk about Seth Erdley. So, who was Seth Erdley in our production of Oliver last year? Seth Erdley is an 8th grader and he played the lead role of Oliver in our production last February. And what's going on with him? Cuz I heard that he's on some sort of tour right now. Right. He's um actually on the national tour of Finding Neverland. Um, it is the story of the creation of the musical Peter Pan and the story of Peter Pan and the author who wrote the story of Peter Pan. And Seth will play two, um, he'll play a brother, there are four brothers, and Seth has prepared two of those parts. So he will be featured just about every day for the next year, um, somewhere in the United States on the, in this production. Um, so he's coming, he's, he's in New York City right now preparing, rehearsing, and then he will start the national tour in Hershey at the Hershey Theater, and that starts on October 2nd through the 7th. Um, we in the Dramatics are planning to go on the 3rd, which is uh, um, Wednesday evening. Um, they have a special family night, so um, we're not sure what days he'll be on stage because he takes a day off once in a while, but we're really pretty sure that he's going to be on stage for that Wednesday. Okay, that's awesome. So if you want to go see Seth Erdley, who played Oliver in our production last year, make sure you go and check him out at Hershey. 
take, let's take it back to the desk. All right, thank you, Isha. Now let's send it to sports. Good morning, Northeastern. Yesterday, the volleyball team played Dallas Town, and unfortunately, the girls took a tough loss. The boys' soccer team played Red Line and went into a double overtime. Unfortunately, our boys lost 2-1 to one in the last minute of the game. There was also a cross-country match meet yesterday at Samuel Lewis State Park against Eastern, Central, Kennedale, and Red Line. The girls beat Central 17-46, Eastern 19-44, and Kennedale 15-46. Unfortunately, the girls fell short against Red Line, losing 31 to 24. The boys cross country team beat Red Line 25 to 30 and Eastern 21 to 34. Sadly, they lost to Kennerdale 34 to 22 and Central 40 to 21. Today, there is a golf match against Kennerdale. The tennis team will also play tonight as they face Susquehannock. There is a field hockey game at Dallas Town as well. Good luck to all the teams playing. Now for lunch. Today's lunch will be Italian sub with sun chips. Tomorrow's breakfast will be breakfast sandwich or wrap. Tomorrow's lunch will be French toast with sausage. Now let's send it to T-Funk with the weather. Alright, so it's a little chillier than yesterday, 67 degrees. Mild temperature. Wind isn't 10 miles per hour today. It is only 4. And the humidity is still in the 90s. We are still looking at clouds. Let's take it to the 5 day. Throughout the week... The sun that we saw on the weekend has now gone away. Um, we are looking at clouds now and rain uh, once next week starts. Temperatures looks like they aren't going to be in the 70s uh, starting next week. They are going to be in the high 60s and our lows will be in the high 50s. Let's take it back to the desk. All right, that's all we have. So have a fantastic day. And don't forget to stay classy.